Hello and welcome back anybody, everybody, but probably nobody. This is Thor W here to bring you more DFO goodness in the Ranger series. When we last left off, I had basically no experience in this bar whatsoever. And now I'm at 99 point whatever percent. 0.15 percent. That's because I did my Tower of the Dead stuff um, before I started this recording because the Ghent channels were once again very full and it took a little bit of a uh, waiting time after doing the Tower of Dead stuff before the Ghent channels were open enough for me to slip my little way in there. Now if you look, I've got this little exclamation point here. Hmm, what's this? Oh my goodness, it's time to become a Desperado. And level up off of it. And with that, I'm eligible to learn new skills and I've learned a couple new things. And I've leveled up far enough to get this South Ghent gate quest and the limited quest that goes with it, the daily quest, we'll be doing that. But first I'm going to clear the East Ghent stuff. So we've got plenty of stuff available to us and we're going to level up, you know, our basic skills that we've been leveling for quite some time. Quite nice. Quite good. Uh-oh. Sudden Death's only level one. Time to take some points out of some other stuff for a little bit. Well, actually, how far can I level Sudden Death? Let's find out. I can put to four. That's not bad, actually. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. We'll get our passive up. Oh, we can burn that some other time. And I'd say uh, TP skills. What do we got? We got air raid upgrade, moving shot upgrade. Let's get moving shot. Why not? We'll see how that goes. And I'll try that out and jump right in and all that good stuff. Uh, as for Scud Genocide, I'm not going to put it on my quick bar. I'm just going to memorize the command, which is up, up, down, down. Z as a default. Very easy. That is our awakening skill. So let's jump on in. Oh, wait. I have another thing for us to do. Complete our dragon weapon. Transform. Equipped items cannot be transformed. Unequip it. Yes. Change to unlimited. Let's do it. Bam. And Dragon's Revolver. How, how very good for us. We can no longer look at this screen ever again. We don't have to pick up the Dragon Tears ever again. How nice. So, this is now available to be reinforced, amplified, refined, etc, etc. We will be doing a little bit of reinforcement for that. At least for, for now. Let's go talk with Kiri. Let's go talk with Kiri. And we'll go get her to reinforce our gun. Get it to plus five as a very base, and then I'll go off screen, get it to something like plus ten or so. Uh, unless you guys might think that's exciting. Maybe you will. Maybe you will. Maybe I'll do it on screen. But for now, let's uh, upgrade it, reinforce it at a base. So, as you can see, reinforcement costs 42,000 gold and 10 clear cube fragments. The clear cube fragments are basically nothing. Uh, the gold starts making it a little bit expensive, but what Reinforcement does, this is very good for percent damage classes, and Ranger is very highly a percent damage class. So Reinforcement gives you some physical piercing properly, properties to yourself, uh, which is ex exceedingly helpful. Plus five, we're going to keep going. Um, Reinforcement gets more difficult. It has a larger chance to fail as you upgrade it further and further. And it also starts costing more. So once it gets to like uh, plus eight, plus nine, look, see plus six failed and it put it down one tier to a plus five. Plus five failed, put it down one tier to a plus four. So it's really a bit of a, a gamble to be trying to reinforce too far. And if you go try reinforcing way too hard like you go to like a plus 11 or plus 12 or something try and reinforce your your weapon has chances to break your weapon or your armor whatever you're using uh, I'm getting extremely unlucky right now I keep just failing All right, I want to try and get at least plus seven before I stop and then we move on with the day there we go plus seven that's all right that's decent we'll be getting that to at least a plus 10 or plus 11 later on and then we'll uh, we'll work with that. But you're going to see a dramatic increase in my damage dealing capabilities with this reinforcement. Because all of my skills are percent based, being able to pierce armor is exceedingly helpful for me. 
exceedingly helpful. So let's go ahead and jump right in. And we are doing the south slash east Ghent gates today. We're going to start with the east Ghent. It's not going to be too difficult for us. We are technically a level ahead of what we need to be for it. But hey, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Is it fine though? It's fine. And I'm, I'm super hyped and super ready to play, guys, just and entertain you guys, because I've been listening to uh, Stan Bush's The Touch, because I've got the touch. I got the power! Yeah! Because it's been, it's been in my head, because it's a good song. It's just a good song. Alright, so East Ghent Gate is, uh, this is the short version of it. Most of the Ghent areas, you're going to see a pattern with them where you do one easy clear and then you move on to a harder clear afterwards. Where the first one, maybe two clears, are going to be, um, basically smaller versions of the, of the full map. And then you move on to the actual full map after doing that because quest related stuff basically you're scouting the area out for the uh for the army of the for the gunner army basically and then they give you missions on the actual area basically go scout out what what can you find as i go oh, i found this 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 oh okay go further now so this dude uh as our boss is going to be our mini, mini boss later on Gaspar the coward and he likes to run away and shoot his gun at you and he's pretty fast moving and when he's crouched down like he was earlier he does have invincibility frames so he uh, he will dodge most attacks that are sent after him but, oh, look, he glitched out. He's supposed to run off screen and be disappear, but he glitched out and he's just standing here. So I'm just I'm going to look at him. I'm just going to look at him all intimidating, intimidatingly and then shoot him. All right, so there's our first little clear on the East Ghent gate. And uh, now I believe that you only have to clear it once before it actually opens up the gate. Yeah, it looks like it. They're going to open up like the entire map now, so let's go accept the the general quest that we can get to go with it. So collect 10 cartel leader badges. Some of these quests aren't really uh, great and, and will be repeat quests, but the first clear you get a little bit of extra re reward from the clearing. So I would definitely advise clearing the... Even the, the general quest, which are like, your reward is a pot, it's actually going to give you a little bit more than that, just for... Just for that. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, I forgot to talk to uh, Marlene. Marlene Kitska has a quest for us, too. We should accept that as well. Uh, I kind of wish that the Dragon Weapon event... Um, that the icon for it would disappear once you finished your dragon weapon because I have literally zero use now for any dragon teardrops or the the dragon weapon event icon being there any longer. There's absolutely nothing more that I can do involving it, so not not really much reason to have it there. Back to East Kent Gate. We're going to do this. Uh, we're going to go through these quests pretty quick. It shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, guys. Stop shooting. Come on now. I'm trying to talk to people right now. I don't got time for this. I have I have a life and meetings to get to. Alright, so these rock solid guys are going to become slightly easier to kill considering I have more physical uh, piercing since I'm able to reinforce my gun now. So it's nice of us to get all these different uh, all these different upgrades all at once right in the beginning of this episode. It's really nice. I'm glad I'm glad that it kind of lined up that way. Multiple events just kind of coming together. Too bad I couldn't also do it at level 70, you know? <laughs> anyway, uh, got the awakening done. Got some upgrades done, so here we go. This is, uh, once again, the Gaspar the Coward. 
Uh, as you can see, he does have a spread fire kind of attack that he can do in addition to what he what he normally does, which is just kind of running around shooting at you once in a while. And there's his little super armor state where sometimes he is invincible, sometimes he's just super armored. But overall, very easy enemy. Nice and easy for us to get through this. This is a overall not the hardest place. The hardest enemies you're going to find are these motorcycle guys because they generally have abilities to just kind of go through you with some uh, super armor here and there, stuff like that. And uh, that turnaround move that they do, uh, you'll see ma the main uh, strength of them, you'll see um, against the boss. The boss is a guy riding a motorcycle, so he's just one of these motorcycle enemies with a name. I mean, you know, some people are like, oh, it's so lame. The boss is just, you know, one of these guys with a name. But think about it in the terms of lots of lots of movies and stuff. The boss of like the boss of the the bad guys is just, you know, another bad guy with a name and slight dressed slightly differently. So, yeah, this guy's going to show off uh, the, how annoying these motorcycle guys can be. Um, he also has a few more tricks up his sleeve than the normal motorcycle guys. Oh, gotta be careful. If he does a large hop when he does that, when he does the wheelie, then he can uh, do a shockwave on the ground that will hit you if you don't jump into the air. And that's kind of, that's kind of annoying to deal with. So, gotta be careful about that. And that should kill. No problem. Pretty easy, but you notice I did take a... a a fair bit more hits than uh, I took a fair few more hits from him than the rest of the dungeon basically other than I guess Gaspar but Gaspar had a bunch of you know gunners behind him to shoot with him but whatever it's fine okay, um, throughout these Gent quests especially these early Gent quests make sure you pay attention to your usable item stuff because you're going to get a lot of openable pots for armor and weapons. And you're going to want to at least use them in your inventory. Because they're going to be like level 55 to 60, whatever. Crap. And sometimes it's going to be nice and good. Sometimes it's going to be kind of crappy. So, let's take a look. We've got light armor and cloth armor. Neither of which we use. So we'll just pop them, see what we get. Plus four legacy? Holy crap. Wow. I got an I got a pretty nice item there. Legacy light armor. Uh we'll be probably selling that on the market there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's just toss that toss that away for a bit. <laughs> Alright, well that's pretty good. I'm happy with it. I hope you guys are happy with it. Okay, uh let's take a look. Is this that is a better leather sash than what I've got, so let's go ahead and equip it. Uh, other than it doesn't have physical crit, instead it has HP max, which kind of sucks. But hey, I'll go ahead and I'll show off this conversion thing. I don't know if I've shown this off much at all, but we can convert that option for a small fee. And we've got, I think, 10 different chances to try and get something better. Magical crit's not doing it for us. Strength is okay. Strength ain't bad. I'll, I'll, I'll accept it for now. And we'll take that. And looks like everything else is pretty much crap. I mean, the, cro the cross might be okay, but... Um, at this stage in time, in the, in the beta, most players are going to be able to get their hands on a... Um, most players are going to very easily be able to get their hands on just... A decent level 60 cross so it's not gonna be worth the most money in the world Wow level 7 enchant for nothing that's incredible I'm not gonna take it because you know you know how I am I'm just thick scald I'm, I'm looking for a disassembler right now that's free and high level like level 7 plus and free but apparently there's not one the closest we've got is this level 5 which is covered by the chat because I'm in full screen mode when I'm recording these so I can get 
assure the best of quality for you guys. Thumbs up. I want nothing but the best of quality for all of you. Um, oh well. Continuing through East Kent. Let's just keep rolling. Let's keep trucking. Oh, hey, we started on the other side. Um, this is how Gent is set up. You can start on either the left or the right. And then after we're... And then you just proceed as normal. It's just add a tiny bit of variance to it. Um, so what do we got? We got defeat, the signal man, motorcycle parts, curing first aid kits, Gordon the leader. Okay, so Gordon the leader, we're going to have to show him off. We haven't fought him once, and that's because he is off the beaten path. He is not on the path to the boss. Like, ever. So, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll be sure to show him off. Because I have to kill him twice for a quest anyway. Didn't know I quite had that quest yet. I thought that came up a little bit later in the... Uh, thought I had to unlock that a little bit later, but I was wrong. I should know that, because I've got another character that's basically in this early Ghent stages right now on the side, so, you know. It's a, it's a battle mage, by the way. I haven't been playing it nearly as much, because um, I've, been, I've been working very hard on these videos to try and keep up with it and keep you guys... And make sure that I can meet the... Uh, the level up qu quest for OBT2 that I set myself up for, which is maximum level, because I want to hit it. I want to hit max level with my Ranger. That's not to say I don't want to hit max level with my other classes. I certainly do. But I set this up, the whole series up for you guys, because I thought, hey, you know what's a fun class to watch? Ranger's pretty cool. Ranger's pretty fun. I think people would like to watch Ranger some Ranger play. And I can start a Ranger from scratch. Anyway, that was the that was the guy that we had to kill, the green named guy in there. I kind of just didn't talk about him even though I should have. Sorry about that. But whatever. You guys saw. You guys saw he's just another motorcycle guy. He's just got a few more health bars than the normal motorcycle guys. There's and he lays mines, I suppose. He's not really uh, anything all that special. At least I think that was the guy. Maybe maybe, uh, maybe it was another guy. Oh my god, what if it was another guy? Then I just lied to everyone. Not that. Here, the easiest way to check is to look at that. No. I didn't. Hold on, let's actually, like... Progress. East again. What do we got? We got all that? Okay, cool. I don't know what my fifth one is, though. We'll just pop that up and put my mouse down there. There we go. There we go. We are good to go now. Uh, let's grab this so that we're all healed up and ready to go and we're going to feel good. No, I think it was Minor Spelt that I fought, not Gordon. Is Gordon the boss? No, can't be. I would have gotten one, one clear from him already, right? Man, if I am completely wrong about all of this, I'm sorry. But... My brain is apparently just remembering something completely different then. You're marked for death now. You can't live. Later, nerd. Oh, come on. I wanted to be all cool and just hop away and kill him with a headshot on the way out, but no. No, I can't be cool ever. I can't ever be cool. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. I'm playing, like, a cool, fun class to watch, and you're not allowing me to be cool, the cool guy. What's wrong with you? Don't you know why people pick Ranger at all? Because they're amazing in PvP. I mean, because they look cool. Yeah, the boss is Captain Tread. I freaking knew it wasn't that bo the boss. I knew it wasn't the boss. Oh! Yeah, hop up like that. Go ahead, hop along.
You know what? We're doing it. Oh no! He stunned me out of my awakening! No, you little son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Oh man, this, this boss is pretty cheap. Look at that. You see that? Look how cheap that guy is. I can't believe he was able to stun me out of my awakening. I didn't know he could do that. I did not know he could do that. Oh man, I just stopped being able to play for at least a minute while after he did that. I was like, I was stunned. Legitimately stunned that he did that, that he stunned me out of it. He stunned my character out of his awakening so hard I was stunned by it in real life. Wow. Wowee. Pro tip, guys. He can stun you out of your awakening. Oh, well. I guess uh, I guess I know now. Hey, I have to kill Miner Spelt this time. Cool. Let's go kill him. Let's go kill him. Let's go kill him. I was going to show off the Scud Genocide Awakening move, but... Then I got stunned. But then I got stunned. But then I got stunned. Oh well. I'm at my best when the going gets rough. I'm put to the test, but it's never enough. Because I've got the touch. I've got the power. Yeah. Ah, get me now, copyright people. Can't get me just for saying the lyrics. I have to sing them. I really wanna. I wanna. Songs are meant to be sung. No, but the copyright claims that happen on YouTube are kind of ridiculous sometimes. Sometimes, like, someone just kind of singing in their video can get copyright claimed. And it is just a huge mess. Just a huge mess. Or at least it can be just a, a, a big dumb mess. Man, that looked like it hurt, Gaspar. You're right to be a coward. Don't worry, I'm a coward too. Props to anyone who knows what I'm referencing. Referential humor is the highest form of humor, right? Am I right, guys? Hi, Miner Spelt. Oh, damn. I did not want to actually grab him. I just wanted to do the shockwave. I don't have to pick you up anymore, Dragon Teardrop. You have no power here. None. None, I say. Alright, so that's Minor Spelt. Definitely dead. You know what? I almost never ever go this way. Let's see what's this way. It's probably just an exact mirror. Yeah, it's literally an exact mirror. This is the exact same uh, room right before that one on the other side. That's why I never go this way. Because it's just a mirror of the, of the, first, the first direction you come from. Okay then, good to know. So my unique drop is plus 120% right now. High minor spelt again. You are truly annoying. Ow. Ow again. I hurt a lot in this room, geez. Kind of probably because of the mines. But it's not like the normal soldiers in this area are so annoying. They're freaking gunshots. Guns are annoying to fight. They really are. This is why I don't, like, play mage classes and stuff. In games. Like, um... I'm gonna keep bringing up Dark Souls, but that's because I like Dark Souls so much. But, like in Dark Souls, I always, uh... I always played some sort of melee class. Because... Mage class is kind of, kind of cheap. Just kind of cheap. There's, there's generally lesser skill involved, and it's just less involved. Which is never that fun. Oh god, Jesus. I am getting wrecked. 
just rub 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 rub. Oh. Let's heal. Let's heal, I suppose. Oh, oh, come on, that's not fair. He did that from off screen. That's cheating. You're supposed to let me see what your what attack you're going to do. Come on now, that's not how you play the game. Nope. They're not going to exist at all. God damn, man. Just spam that fucking turnaround. Spam the turnaround. Yep, it is literally the strongest skill you have, you piece of shit. You piece of shit. The most effective skill at the very least. Oh, it's really annoying. He's a very annoying boss. I'm not a fan. Not a fan. I haven't found Gordon the Leader once. Maybe I'll just try a full clear, see if I find him at all. Okay. Ooh, leather. Yeah, we're keeping you. You will replace what I have currently equipped. When I reach that level. Gordon, the leader of the Storm Raiders, two times. Yeah, I, I haven't found him once. I think he might be an RNG spawn, or I think I might be stupid. It's one of those. It's at least one of those. Uh, okay. Give me the leather. Oh, wait, it's, uh, it's on the repeatable side now? Yep, abandoned that. There we go. I don't need to do you anymore. All right. Oh, right. What exactly is my current one? Uh, 20 members of the Special Forces. Okay. Let's do it. Anyway, for you guys out there, um, the reason I'm not doing Ultimate Mode is Ultimate Mode really increases the time it takes to clear out a, uh, a dungeon. By a lot. Um, if you're going to do Ultimate Mode, I would very much advise having at least a party of two. It is 100% doable as a party of one, and several classes will have a relatively easy time of it. Cough, cough, Chaos Knight. Cough, cough, cough. Cough, 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 cough. Oh no, I'm actually not coughing. I'm just saying Chaos Knight is a little bit broken right now. Just a little bit. Just a little broken. But anyway, uh, regardless of how well your class is able to handle the the um, the enemies on Ultimate Road, it's still going to take longer, because they just have... Like, regular enemies gain, like, two bars of health, and special enemies gain even more. At least that's the basic gist of it. And your the miss rate goes up, and it, just a lot of things that just kind of mess... make it just artificially difficult. And at the, at the very least, it does take a much longer time. So you're allowed less mistakes, which is kind of what makes it more difficult. But, eh. Anyway, I will be, I'm just going to do a full clear here, see if I can find Leader Gordon once, at the very least. Whoops. Did not mean to do that. That was the wrong hotkey. I meant to do Western Fire. Oh well. We didn't start the fire. Oh, okay. It must be this dude back here. Okay, yeah. Hello, trooper. You have had super armor. Now you're dead. Yeah, it's probably the dude right there. Yep, there's his name. And done. Okay. My bad, guys. I thought... Uh, I did think that he spawned elsewhere. I was just being dumb. But hey, we got some extra health and um, mana back. How good for us. So yeah, there you go. That's where Gordon the Leader is. He is on the opposite side of wherever you spawn. I'm going to have to kill, take him out one more time. No problem.
That was uh, that was my bad. I could have had him had that quest done by now, and I wouldn't have wasted much time. But whatever, whatever. It was a good learning experience for where for his location for all of us. Because the uh, thing is, if you make a mistake and then correct yourself, you're more likely to retain the information that you've learned than if you just did it right the first time. Because when you make the mistake, you have to take all that time out from your day, your schedule, whatever, and that, to fix it, rather than just getting it right the first time. And you'll remember the pain of having to fix it more than you'll remember just, you know, getting it. At least that's a... Yeah, that's something I, I learned a while ago. So the special forces guys, I'm pretty sure, are all just guys on the guys on motorcycles. Oh my god, I, oh, I hate that move so much. I really do. I really do. It is so cheap. It is so cheap, and he spams it like a piece of shit. Like a piece of shit. Okay, so there's his big hop where he ground pounds there. Yep, and there he goes, shooting. Oh, well. I died. Oh my god. I am playing like garbage against this boss, but to be fair, this boss is garbage. This boss is hot garbage. Hot garbage on a street side. Fuck you, Captain Shred, you piece of shit. Hot garbage on a street side, that's all he is. He is like, uh, he's probably the least f fun boss to face in the Ghent area, because... While you're hitting him, and when you try and put him into like a combo string or anything like that, that's when he he just revs his motorcycle up, goes right through, and super armors and spins around, and then he does donuts on your head, and then he and then he does a jump off a ramp, and he's like, "Yeah, X Games," and then you feel like a nerd because wow, he just did such a cool thing with his motorcycle. What a cool guy. You know what I mean, guys? You know what I mean? Cue everyone knowing exactly what I mean. So yeah, right, Captain Shred's kind of kind of an anno annoying boss. Just a, just a cheap boss in general. He's not that hard, but if you make mistakes, he can very, very, very easily and quickly kill you. No, no signals. It's fine. It's fine, Gaspar. I'm a coward. We can be coward friends. Hey, hey. okay, we can't be coward friends anymore. I was going to be a friend for you. I was going to be your best friend, Gaspar. But no, you had to be a dick. Alright, so let's go clear out the... Uh, let's go clear Gordon, the leader, again. And his merry band of, of douchebaggery. And then we'll all be happy, and rainbows will descend from the sky, and puppies and kittens will get along. And then we'll all get a million views on YouTube because of it. Yeah, and everyone will be happy. Oh, you guys, there's no Gordon back here. Come on now. That's not cool. Maybe Gordon's up the other way. If he's not on the map spawn, I'm going to call bullshit. I have to kill a minor splat. splat. Ugh, come on now. Yeah, that should kill most of you. Not all of you. Yeah, the motorcycle guys are kind of... Just just really cheap. Because, you know, you can beat the crap out of them, and then they'll just... 
like ignore it for a second and hit you <laughs> and you use their one attack where they ride through you and do damage to you the only attack that they need so yeah do be careful of them while you're doing this place guys the motorcycle guys are coming to annoy you they're loud Harley bikes Wow, no, no, uh, no Gordon. Uh, well, I'm gonna call bullshit, as I said I would. Massive bullshit, so I'm gonna clear at least this next room before I grab that health and mana. That way I'm a little bit more topped off for when I run in for the boss fight. Oh, that timing was perfect. Just perfect. Alright. So let's go grab that heal. This is a, this is a good technique you guys can do. Uh, I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's just uh, make sure you use the health fountain when you need it. Leave it otherwise. Very, very basic game technique, but hey, some people don't actually employ the use of it, and it's very helpful. Alright, let's not screw up completely like a bunch of dummies against him this time. He did the exact same thing. I wanted to try it again just to see if it was consistent, but it is. Oh, and he did the shockwave. And then he did that. Wow. What an amazing boss. What an amazing and interactive boss we have here. Yep, yeah, you do that. An amazingly interactive boss that literally just runs back and forth and is able to do damage while doing it and knock you down. Oh, I hate this boss. Not a fan. Just not a fan. Just not a fan of you, uh, right, Captain Dumbass? Dude, Shred! My name's Shred, because I'm rad, bro! I'm so cool! I wasn't going to be able to hit anything off the uh, second throw anyway, so we're just good with that, and die. Bam! Blammo! Blow! Zap! Pow! Badoosh! Other sound effects. Freaking right, Captain Shred. Hey, just... Not a well-thought-out boss, in my opinion. Just He's just kind of lame in a few different ways. Hunting experience plus 50%. Now, what is hunting experience exactly? Is that experience gained from killing certain enemies? It just says hunting. Alright, feet right, Captain Shred again. And I'm going to hope Gordon, the leader, spawns one more time so that I can finish that quest off as well. And if not... And if I'm able, if, you know, defeat Rai Captain Shred is just the end of East Gent Gate epic quests, and I don't clear out another Gordon spawn, oh well, I guess life moves on without Gordon. So yeah, I'm actually really surprised about how much experience the Valley of Fallen Souls is giving me right now. From doing three Tower of the Dead runs, three Altar of Infinity runs, two Tau Kingdom runs, I guess that helps a, a little bit extra too, and the three Altar of Ascension runs. As far as I can get an Altar of Ascension, at least it's hard to find a party that'll actually keep me because I'm only level 50 blah blah. Surprisingly, lots of people just kind of kick you from the party if you're not... Alright, I'm doing this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm cool! Yeah! Genocide! Yeah! Now die! <laughs> okay, I had to show it off at least one time. It's a pretty cool looking uh, 
d awakening, but it's A, kind of slow, B, apparently very stoppable. Apparently you can just be stunned through it, and, and then people will not give a damn. Um, it's kind of best used against enemies that you can actually knock into the air, that you can launch. If you can't launch an enemy, the enemies that you try and use it on, then it's a little bit worse, because it's meant to kind of launch them into the air, and then you juggle them with many hits, and then you launch yourself above them, and once you're up in the air spinning around like that, you're you're untouchable. Nothing's going to nothing's going to hit you or stop you. As far as I've seen, I've never seen anyone be hit out of it once they're in the air. I'm pretty sure you're just a, a big dancing ball of bullets at that point. Bye, guy. Oh, you had to drop something for me. Something valuable. Thank you. But anyway, um, as far as I've seen, once you're in the air, you're untouchable, and then you land on the ground, and you snap your fingers, and everything explodes into death. Not a terrible awakening skill. Not the worst. It's got alright damage. It's uh, much worse against enemies you can't launch into the air, that's for sure, as you've seen with Riot Captain Shred just giving no shits whatsoever about me using it. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get you, and then he's like, ha ha, get stunned, you freaking nerd. And then I'm sad. And then I'm very sad, because all I wanted to do was spin around and shoot bullets at him. Is that so wrong? Is it so wrong to just want to shoot the crap out of him because, you know, in a fun way? Oh, that is beautiful. They were just very well lined up for that. Yeah, so you notice the uh, the AI on the guys on the motorcycle is kind of thankfully really poor and inactive. Right, Captain Shred is literally the only motorcycle guy that is constantly active. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, five hits. Jeez. Toggle. Blam. Oh, perfect. Oh. Okay, good try, buddy, but Silver Bullets is a very fast cast speed. See, I'd much rather he shoot the laser than anything else. The laser's just one hit. The missiles are three hits. The leap forward is multiple hits. The turnaround is one hit that does more damage than the laser, for some reason. It's a very weak laser, apparently. Apparently a very weak laser. I, I'm not sure why it's such a weak laser, personally. I think it would be stronger. But, you know. See, so yeah, I right, Captain Shred. He's he's down for the count. I think that was the last, um... Good Rotor. Or is it Good Rotor, just misspelled because poor literacy is cool. Well, yeah, um... Pretty sure that's the last epic quest. Yes, it is. East Gent Gate, you are done. All you have is Storm Raiders, but it wouldn't spawn me a second one, and I don't care that much about a Haste Potion. So, I'll keep that in case I want to go back and do that or something, and we're going to go to South Gent Gate.